Hello Year 6s, here are your idioms for today. The third degree, a long and detailed time of questioning. I'm only 15 minutes late home but mum will give me the third degree. Mr Foster gave me the third degree because I forgot my homework. 19 to the dozen, talk 10 to the dozen. To talk very quickly and energetically, Daniel was talking 19 to the dozen to his friend about dogs. When I see my cousins, we gossip and talk ten to the dozen. Part two, put two and two together, meaning to reach the correct answer using the information given. Armand put two and two together and was able to get the correct story from the correct answer from the story. Sorry. A one-off, an event unlikely to be repeated. The cinema is having a one-off free film showing this evening. Our two words today are communication and community, sharing the double M consonant of these two words. Our focus for the next week is going to be writing an informal letter. To start with, we are going to be looking at the features of an informal letter. So you're going to identify the key features, identify which person the letter is written in, and identify words and phrases that give an informal tone. OK, you shall be writing an informal letter in role as a soldier living in the trenches. This is what the reason we have focused on trenches up till now. So you are confident and have a good idea on what life was like in the trenches. So first of all, we need to identify the features of an informal letter. Um, so here we've got a letter. I think it might be from Paddington. This is at the end. Um, look at this, read through, and think about what makes this a letter to begin with. How do you know it's a letter? You're pretty obvious, really. But just look at the features that you know straight away. This is definitely a letter. Now think about how you know it is an, is an informal letter. Maybe look at some of the words chosen and the way the tone of the letter that gives it the idea that it's not to a bank manager or somebody really important that you're trying to impress. So pause the video here and just list a few things that you think makes this an informal letter. When you're ready, carry on. Okay, how did you get on? Here are the features of an informal letter. How many did you find? So we've got the sender's address, the date, an appropriate greeting, an introduction, paragraphs around a theme, first person form, vocabulary that shows a chatty informal style, places where the writer addresses the recipient directly, so when you're kind of chatting to the um, person you're sending it to through the letter, as if they were there in the room with you, a conclusion, a complimentary close, the sender's name or signature at the end. If you're unsure what these are, can you just go back to the letter and have a look at, think about where they might be and what these items might be, these features, sorry. To prepare for our letters, we will now watch The Christmas Truce. This was an actual event in 1914. Sainsbury's reenacted it for an advert 100 years later in 2014.
Now that you have watched the advert, can you watch it again? This time, imagine you are Jim. Write his experiences throughout his, this day. Remember to mention how he felt too. You might add why he did what he did. Tomorrow you will be writing a letter to Rose, enrolled as Jim. You should have a sheet of paper from your pack or from the files, or you can have three columns drawn on a plain bit of piece of paper with um, experiences through the day written at the top, um, how he felt and why he did what he did. This will be in preparation for writing your letter. So I'm going to play the video again.
Now, can you take this time to write as many ideas as you can under the headings on your sheet? Thank you.